Hi everybody, my name is Lewis and this is Traditional Black Potter. Today we're going to be talking about patching material and lube. Alright, one of the very important things that go into getting more accuracy out of your uh, shooting is the patching material that you use and also the lube that you use. So, you want to use obviously a natural material, 100% cotton material and you know, t-shirts, uh, some people have used jeans, uh, th there have been all kinds of patching materials used out there. But uh, for me, um, what I've started using and find it the easiest is just uh, pillow ticking. You know, you can go to your local uh, uh, fabric store and get a few yards and that will last you a long, long time. And the nice thing about it is that it's consistent in, uh, in thickness and there's different thicknesses that you can get depending on, on the ball and uh, patch material combo that works best in your gun. But uh, this, is, this stuff is not ex uh, terribly expensive and you could probably uh, get enough material in one shot to last you uh, a long time. Now for lube, that's very important also, just as important as the uh, material that you're using for uh, patching. So you want uh, the lube on the patch to be consistent. It, it doesn't help if you're using uh, a lube that you know it's it's too much on one patch and not enough on the other, and it's never consistent throughout the patch. You know, um, there's been all kinds of lubes used out there. I mean, if if you ask people or you Google it, and, and you can see that uh, there's there's just tons of it. You know, for me. Um, I just found that using these uh, liquids that I use to, to get this going, um, it's easy, simple to do, it's consistent, which is, which is great because you're going to have the same amount of lube on, on one piece of patch as you will on the other. There's never going to be more on one and, and less on the other, which that can affect the, uh, you know, the accuracy. You want everything to be consistent. so. You doing this method, it also makes it clean. Uh, once it's done uh, and, it, and this is uh, dried off, you'll find that it will not be messing, uh, making a mess on your hands and trying to wipe yourself off every time you put a patch. And uh, it's a lot cheaper also than probably going out and getting uh, pre-made uh, patches or buying those package uh, package ones. I've tried them in the past and. For me, it, it didn't work that great, you know, and uh, I like this system a lot better. So, let me show you what I use and we'll get into that. Okay, so this is the patching material that you would buy at your uh, fabric store. And like I said before, it, it comes in, well, you, you tell them how much you want. Um, I usually get a few yards and, and like I said, it lasts a long time. So you'll take that and uh, cut it into strips. Basically, I cut it wide enough to go over the muzzle of my rifle and lengthwise you can do it uh, as long or as short as you want, you know. I keep it in a length about this much and then put it over the muzzle and cut it with a uh, patch knife when I'm, when I'm actually using it. So, the mixture is going to be one part uh, valve stall and uh, seven parts water. Now, you can uh, go and experiment and you know, and use uh, one part valve still and, and vary it on how much water you want to put in, and you can play around to see what works best for you. But for me, I found that uh, one to seven works pretty good, and I ha haven't had to deviate from there. So the procedure is this. So what we're going to do is do one to seven, and since I'm just going to do these uh, small strips over here. Um, I don't need to mix a lot. So what I'm going to do is put seven parts water. One, two, three, four, Matthew, five. It's not for you, it's not food. Seven. So we've got seven parts water. 
or take foul stone. He thinks it's cookies. And we're going to do one part ballast stone. And when you drop this stuff in here, it's going to get a consistency, uh, you know, a thicker consistency than water just slightly. And uh, it's going to look like milk. It turns white. So that's, uh, that's normal. Okay. So then we take uh, the patches and dump them in there. And uh, let me seal up this bottle right here. It's kind of it's pretty slick already, but not slick enough that it's going to be you know way too greasy. You'll see. So we let it sit in there for a minute, soaking up the liquid. Okay, so I let it sit there for about a minute, just to make sure that everything is nice and, so and uh, soaked into the patches. So you'll take one, uh, you take some of these strips out, and get a pan or something that you know it won't collect dirt, and lay them out flat. Now the reason I recommend to lay them out flat is because I, I rather not hang them because I want all the liquid that's uh, on the patches not to drift and, and start running out the other end making them more, more lubricated on one end than the other. So probably it's the best thing to do is just to let them sit. Okay, so we let them sit like this until they get dry. I'm actually going to put them outside to hopefully uh, get them to dry a little bit quicker. Super hot today, so hopefully it won't be that long. All right, so we let these strips dry and they're dry to the touch. And if you run your hands across it, um, there's there's hardly any residue on your fingers. It's very clean. That's one of the things I like about it that it's. It's not messy at all, uh, as opposed to some of the other loops that you use for patching that, like I said, you get it all over your hands and it's constantly cleaning your hands. This thing is basically uh, dry. You know, you can't feel anything. But you can smell that the balsol is in there and, and there's a slight feel to it that it is lubricated. And basically that's all you need. It doesn't have to be, um, uh, you know, a bunch of goo on the, on the patch, okay? And what's nice about this is that the, uh, the amount of uh, lubricant on the patch is consistent. There's, you know, there's not one part that has more than the other and it's going to cause you know, uh, some differences when you're going from shot to shot. So consistency is everything, trying to get accurate with a muzzle loader and this helps out. Uh, it required very little to do this much. And the rest of it, you can, you can see it here, it almost looks like milk. But uh, you can just bottle it and uh, use it for next time. You know, the, uh, this much will last you quite a long time. And this is a good patch, uh, patch system for me. It works very well. Um, I'm very happy with it. I don't need to go out and buy pre lubricated patches anymore. And uh, it's cheap, easy to do, and it lasts you. A bottle of this stuff will last you now a long time. So I think you should give it a try and see if it works out for you. Play around with the combination of uh, water and ballastol to see what works best for you. And uh, you know, give it a shot, see if it helps you out. So what I would do once you uh, get all of these uh, lubricated is uh, put them into a plastic bag, seal them and keep them that way so it uh, keeps the lubrication, it doesn't dry out, and uh, you'll be set to go. So thanks again for joining me and until next time, keep the tradition alive.